for many thrill seekers, witnessing the Northern Lights is an experience worth traveling for. And usually that means flying to higher latitude places like Alaska, Iceland, or Scandinavia. But recently, the auroras have been showing up in unexpected places, as far south as Greece and even Florida. While rare, it will likely happen again, and soon. Here's what to know about the otherworldly glow and how to catch the best view. What are auroras? Auroras are caused by bursts of activity on the sun's surface, where dense magnetic fields tangle together in areas called sunspots. Still have those special glasses lying around from the eclipse? Take another look and you might see those dark patches on the solar surface. They are the source of two kinds of eruptions. Solar flares, which are intense bursts of radiation or light, and coronal mass ejections, which are explosive blasts of plasma and magnetic fields. When do auroras happen? To know when an aurora is imminent, you'll want to look out for the CMEs. And not just one, but a bunch. When those charged particles reach Earth, the planet's magnetic field pulls them towards the poles, creating the northern lights in the Arctic and the southern lights in the Antarctic. These solar particles fire up the atoms of gas in Earth's atmosphere. When those gases release all that extra energy, they emit light in breathtaking colors. Why are we seeing more widespread auroras now? Just like Earth, the Sun has a magnetic north and south pole. But unlike Earth, those poles flip positions relatively often in an 11-year solar cycle. The lowest level of activity is called the solar minimum. The peak level of magnetic chaos is the solar maximum. Right now, we're in the solar maximum. Think of it as a season that can supercharge auroras, making them appear in places farther from the poles and for longer periods of time. Pretty cool, huh? How to get the best view. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, scope out a dark area away from city lights. Let your eyes adjust. Even the glare of a car's headlights can mess with your night vision. Be patient. The auroras don't always appear right away, but you can turn your camera into an aurora detector. If the glow isn't visible to the naked eye, your smartphone can help. Some phones will default to a longer exposure, collecting more light over time and revealing faint auroras that might otherwise go unnoticed. And it doesn't hurt to manage your expectations. Real life auroras aren't always as insta-worthy as the ones edited for social media, but they're still pretty darn magical. So don't forget to sit back and admire the view. The night sky really knows how to put on a show.